Sometimes you come up with an idea that's just so dumb, it's actually genius. Then you run into a bunch of ex-pro players while they are streaming, and they crap all over your idea on stream as you chain feed them early. Is, wait, what? these guys are garbage. What? Well, their comp f***ing sucks. Then, the turn of the tide, and something glorious begins to happen, but you're not sure if it will be enough. More on that later. The genesis of this idea came like all good ones. I had an itch and I needed to scratch it. First off, Riot changed the way Glacial Augment works. So if you got very high heal and shield power, the slow becomes really high. I quickly realized that if you got a Moonstone Renewer and stacked the passive fully, the slow on the Glacial Augment would be over 60%. Once you complete your second support item, it goes above 70% slow on an AOE area. I really wanted to use this, but the problem is that while there are good users for Moonstone and there are good users for Glacial Augment, the two don't really overlap that much. I knew I wanted to combine our Glacial user with Mordekaiser in the bottom lane. I've been wanting to use Mord in the bottom lane for a few reasons I'll talk about later, and Glacial would help him stay on top of people. The only two really promising users were Janna and Lux. Janna usually builds Shirelias, but her secondary is Moonstone. Glacial is also her third most popular, but it doesn't really overlap. Lux is actually a really good user of Moonstone if you max her shield first, and Glacial is good with her too. Of course, this really takes away from Lux's core identity of accidentally stealing your ADC's minions and securing all the kills for them. I decided to try it anyway. We loaded up a game with Mord and Lux, and the problem was that even with the Bind and the Glacial, it was hard for Mord to keep up with the bad guys. He'd usually start out too far to position and have to use his pull to go for the kill. After that, it was really easy for the enemy to escape. So I thought about it. What Mord really needed was a dash. A really long range dash that doesn't require him to buy an item. And someone who can build Glacial Augment. And someone who can build Moonstone Renewer. Maybe you're thinking what I'm thinking. It was time for Ivern support. I absolutely love Ivern. I've also wanted to put Mordekaiser in the bot lane for mechanical reasons, but I think he's kind of cool too. He's kind of cool in a 15 year old way. His name means Murder King in German. He's cool like this League of Legends t-shirt is cool. 15 year old me would think Murder King is a really cool name, and 15 year old me would have definitely worn this t-shirt. And 15 year old me would have never lost his virginity in this t-shirt. Now Ivern is really cool in a different way. He's cool like this orangutan driving this golf cart. Some of you don't care about a character who's as cool as an orangutan driving a golf cart, and that's okay. In-game, Ivern solves all of Mord's problems. Mord does a ton of damage, but he gets kited and he especially hates playing against ranged champions early. Well, with Ivern we get a Q that lets Mord dash right into his target with a click. The Q also activates Glacial Augment so they are slowed and can't run away easily. Then Ivern puts a shield on Mord that also slows when it explodes, allowing Mord to stay on top of people. Mord can now save the ability to pull people towards him so he can use it after they flash or dash to get away. One thing to remember is when you're trying new off-meta ideas, you can have a good idea that's just missing one thing and we knew we needed one more thing to push us over the top. And for this combo, the last thing is the rune setup. On Mord, we run Lethal Tempo. This is a very unusual rune for Mord, but because of all the slows, it allows him to build up a huge amount of attack speed. The other benefit of putting Mord in the bot lane means that instead of having to fight fair at level 6 like he would in the top lane, he can just use his ult on the support and absolutely murder king them while their ADC can do nothing to help them. Normally this would be a bad matchup for the friendly support who's left behind by Mord, but since Ivern always brings a buddy with him, he just ults and lets Daisy fight the enemy ADC while he runs away. If they chase Ivern, it means that the murder emperor will emerge from the death realm with stolen stats and usually kill the enemy ADC too. One other interesting side effect of this pairing is that we started calling it the unintable lane. If you play any of these off-meta combos, you know that they can often be a coin flip. Sometimes you'll absolutely stomp early, and sometimes you'll absolutely get stomped, and there is no way to come back. Well, with this lane, we've gotten absolutely stomped early several times. And I don't mean like down a couple kills. I mean like where we probably felt like we were intentionally inting to the rest of the team. And because of the uniqueness of more than the bot lane, we've come back so many times. In the clip on screen, we have fed nine kills to the enemy bot lane in the first five levels. Nine. This is an impossible situation for us to recover from, right? Well, we just hit level six, 
so it's time to see if our combo of alting the support while Daisy protects Ivern from the very fed ADC works. When they come back to lane, they want to try it again without the Death Realm. And even though they have a huge gold lead, we are okay with doing it again. But these are just some random people we played against. Imagine if you entered a giant lead into an ex-professional League of Legends player. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's one of these two. Oh, oh Jesus! Dang it, Lamar. Bye, Danny. It was nice knowing you. Thanks a lot. Come over, come oh. over, guys. Come over, guys. <laughs> that was worth it. No, that's so worth yeah. it for Danny. Uh, um, that's so many songs. Wait, Danny, you got the ultra gold, right? Oh Holy my god. Holy shit. You're good, you're, good. you're good to go. I just love this <clears> okay? Wait, what the, what the fuck is his building? Yo, you just hit the Mark Hazard? Hit the Mark Hazard. Why, well, have you seen me eight seconds? Seven. Don't, 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 I'm still Fine. one. Damn, that these was uh, After these melee minions? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Wait, what? these guys are garbage. What? Well, their comp do. fucking sucks. I don't think Ward have two forms. Why does he get a range strong? Oh, why, 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 Kill, kill, kill. Oh, my. Lee Sin was me. Maybe we gotta kill him. Ooh, nice, that's a kill. Nice, Petey. This guy slip. Jason. You got Mordekaiser as well. I'll kill him. Oh, I'm actually not dead. I'm skipping, I'm skipping. I'm skipping. You win this? Yeah. Yeah, I might yeah, just ult this guy and you can ult him. Okay. Maybe walks over this. Yeah. Maybe oh, this. Lee going mid. He's walking mid. Shut down. Uh -huh. Aha! Whoops. I should have fought. All good. We're still destroying our lane. Can't make it too easy, you know? When we come back, I'm pretty sure we just kill both of them, right? Yeah. Can't walk past Daisy. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so slow. Ooh, nice stun. Oh, oh, the Daisy. Dude, he just got killed for so much. Uh, Jason's here, Jason's here. As the game went on, they got to see just how strong a fully stacked Glacial Ivern is, and how much an attack speed moored with a rocket belt can melt you. One second, I would send your fuck. And no, he's right here. Oh here? my god, I'm not watching here? my screen. Here, 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 here. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh, that's... oh. oh that's how oh, it works. Run, yeah. my son! You, you Does it go inside? No, 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 you have to eat it first. You have to eat it first. I was wondering where my ulti went the last time. It only he keeps goes ulting me, man. It's so fucking annoying. Yeah, he drops your ult to you. I have to ult from the in. Oh, there's a lot. I'm back enough. Do you have your. Your ulti? I do. Peter? I do, I do. Just watch this guy, watch this guy, watch this guy. Let's go right here, right here. I'm getting so glacial so by Ivory. I am so far oh from everything God. and I couldn't do anything about it. Sorry, but this, sorry. uh, he might be dead? Oh, never mind. Nice! I got one. Oh, I'm sorry, I did not realize. The Ivory knockup applied glacial. We're gonna get past. That was actually kinda nuts. Yeah, that guys were like literally right next to me. No, nah, yeah, I I mean I was, but I was slowed so hard I, I could not reach now. you. Yeah, I'm fighting this guy. I'm fighting this guy. Oh wait, okay. Um I'm getting top for it. No! no! Oh, you got cucked so hard. Shut down. Shut up. 
Here. Uh, dragons up in the oh. 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 The Glacier on Ivor is kind of annoying, I'm not gonna yeah. lie. We need to kill the Daisy faster. Oh, oh okay, this is mind. this fucking angle. Oh my god. I didn't see my trap. I flee. I did a lot of damage, but not enough to kill. This is pink, by the way. Do they have Baron still? Oh, at least I mean. Urgot coming from behind. Holy shit. I'm trying to climb. The guy flash ult. Flash ult. Lisa, no flash, no ult. Yeah, so you guys could do Baron maybe. Ooh. Oh, yeah. No, I can't do this again. What the? Oh, oh, oh. Oh my god. He stopped my EQ. Scary, bro. That is. Man. He's good, he's good. Holy God in heaven. Oh, no, God, they're so... I can't even... Oh my God, I can't even... Live long enough to do damage, dude. Yeah. If you want to try out this combo, I recommend it because it's very fun and it's not too hard to learn. You can be playing with 85% efficiency after a few games. Probably the hardest thing is Ivern's Q skill shot. It's one of the easiest to dodge in the games, so you can fish for them in lane, but it's not a guaranteed thing. When you hit one, Mord has to decide quickly if it's the right choice to dash in or ignore it. Once you get your Moonstone, you want to wait for your healing to charge up to maximum level in combat, if at all possible, before you hit the Glacial. So it's a good practice to hold this skill shot until a little later. This is just generally a good tip anyway. One of the biggest tells for low elo supports for me is when they throw skill shots like Morgue or Lux Q from far away. Any decent opponent will easily dodge it. It's much better to do it from out of vision or walk up on them and make them dodge in anticipation. The same is good for Ivern. Later on, you can let Daisy use her knockoff to proc it as well. This is a good backup plan for those fights where you just miss a Q. Remember, if you shield Murder Kaiser right before he ults, he takes the shield with him into the Death Realm just to make it a little more unfair. Ivern's build is pretty straightforward. You build Moonstone Renewer and either Staff of Flowing Water or Chemtech Petrifier second. Flowing Water is an amazing item for Mord if you don't need Grievous Wounds. For Mordekaiser, you build Rocket Belt first. In top lane, he usually builds Riftmaker because he needs the sustain. But when you have an Ivern shielding you and healing you with his Mythic, there is no need. The extra dash from Rocket Belt makes Mord even harder to escape from. Next, we build Nasher's Tooth. This isn't the most common second item for top mord, but even there, some people buy it. With our build of lethal tempo with so many slows in the rocket belt, it lets mord auto people for massive amounts of damage. Third, you build demonic embrace for more damage or zanyas for more protection. This lane may be unintable, but sometimes people just won't fight you, and that's fine. We push the lane very fast and then go take dragon. The dragon take from this duo is insane, even before you get level six. Mord's passive does a ton of damage to the dragon, and between his shield and Ivern's shield, he takes almost no damage. We have won several games because we just took the first two dragons solo, and the dragon soul then became our team win con. For bans, we ban Ezreal, Lulu, and Vayne. We hate all three of them, and we'd like to be able to ban all three. If you can get your team to ban Vayne while you ban the other two, it's pretty awesome. For summoners, Mord takes flash and ignite, and Ivern takes heal and exhaust. No flash on Ivern, position safely, and this will work really well. I'll put the rune setup on screen. An important secondary to talk about is Shield Bash for Mord. He gets so many shields, this is a hugely valuable rune. And Revitalize on both characters makes Ivern and Mord's shields huge. That's your setup for both characters. Once you get to the mid game, you play them pretty standard if you've played either one of them. Ivern is a great support. Daisy really helps in team fights. And the Glacial can be hugely valuable. Mord takes towers better than a top lane Mord because of his attack speed setup and Baron takes go extremely fast with both of these characters. Try it out in a normal first, or a ranked, I don't care, I'm not your parent. Either way, it's really fun, let me know how it goes. Hit subscribe if you like this channel, I have some good stuff in the backlog. Thanks for watching.
Okay. I love League of Legends bat chest. Dude, I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> I swear the game was so easy. And then, like, I suicided once. Wait. And then the game just felt so hard. Yeah. Doobie. I mean, they, they just, like, got so tanky. It was hard for me and Yvonne to do damage. I, I could do damage. Mm. I just didn't live long enough to do damage. Yeah, no, like, that's what I, I, I did so... not. They would burst me, and I would tickle them. It was yeah. kind of impossible 